Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today I'm going to be checking out the Masters of the Universe Revelation Faker from the Masterverse line. So this one's been out for a little bit. Uh, it is a Target exclusive currently, or at least it started out that way. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump in and check it out now while I'm looking at all these Masterverse figures here on my channel. So this is a deluxe figure, which means it does come in a larger window box. It comes with a lot more different accessories included with the figure. And of course, the packaging does feature some beautiful artwork of the character as he appeared in the series, done by the very talented Mr. Eamon O'Donoghue. And we're going to get this guy outside of the box. I'm actually really excited to take a look at this one here today. So as you can see, the figure stands right there at seven inches tall, just like all the other figures in the Masterverse line. And while the majority of this does reuse the standard He-Man body, like if I bring him in side by side so you can see, there are some actual differences here, specifically with the torso and the arms. Because as you can see, we've got... A lot of exposed parts there that shows the blue body underneath. Now, this is a really cool way to do Faker. I know Faker has always been a fan favorite, and that bright blue and bright orange is a very striking look for the character, but there's always been the joke made of how could this actually be a fake He-Man? How could anybody fall for this? And I feel like Revelation did a good job handling that, uh, where he looked more like a regular He-Man, but had the blue robotic body underneath, or it was almost like a holographic projection. This looks really cool on this particular action figure because as you can see, he's wearing the standard He-Man harness, he's got the standard looking He-Man hair and face, but we can see the blue metallic robotic body underneath. I also love that they went with the metallic blue on this. This really reminds me back in the 2000X era when we were all anticipating what Faker might look like back then. A lot of folks on the He-Man.org forums back then were all making customs of Faker with metallic blue skin like this. And I always thought that looked so cool. And then when we finally got that Faker, he just looked like every other Faker. So I don't know, this, this almost feels like a long time coming <laughs> to get a metallic blue skinned Faker like this. I think it actually looks really cool. One of the other things I was really surprised by after getting this guy is realizing that this isn't just a paint job where they just slap some blue paint on there. No, there is actually molded skin, He-Man skin that is like peeled away on the arms and the torso. You can see it's outlined in sort of like a red there with the blue robotic body underneath. Uh, and you can even see it's got like a robotic looking sculpt to it. I was pretty blown away that they took that extra step and did that. It really makes this a very unique, very different looking faker. And I like that. I think that is really cool. The other thing I want to talk about is that He-Man head sculpt on there. Now, here's the deal. This faker comes with multiple interchangeable heads. So, first of all, the one I've got on there right now, you can see half of the He-Man face has been knocked off. It shows that robotic face underneath. We can pop that off of the figure if we want to. And in its place, we can put on a full He-Man head there with none of the robotic parts removed. So now you've got this really great He-Man face, which I actually think is an improvement over the He-Man head that came on the standard release He-Man figure. I think the hair looks better. I think the face looks better. It's more defined. It's got a stronger jawline. I like the more stern look on the face. The only problem is he's got red eyes. So you could put this on your regular He-Man figure if you want, and it looks really good, he's just got red eyes. Uh, if you wanna maybe color those yourself and change them blue, make them look more natural, could be a way to get a really nice looking He-Man head, an alternate He-Man head for that standard release. Now, in addition to that, we also have a third head, which is just the full-on bald uh, robotic faker head. And this, again, very different look for the character uh, without hair on there, but I do really like how it's got, you know, a more jagged look to the sculpt of the face. I think it's really cool getting something entirely different here. Now, in addition to this, we can also remove the standard He-Man harness here. And if you want to, you can put on 
the orange version of the Skeletor harness. Um, now, this was not seen in the series this way. He just had the He-Man one. But I thought this was a really cool nod from Mattel to include this with the figure for anybody that wants something that looks a little bit more like the vintage toy. And you can put on whichever head you want to there. But now, you've got him rocking the orange Skeletor armor, just like our faker action figures always have. He even has a power sword with an orange hilt which is pretty cool so you can get them to hold on to that um and uh i also really like we can do it on the opposite hand i don't know i like making him hold opposite from he-man's hand just because he's like a you know a duplicate there uh like a doppelganger i think that is such a cool idea i don't know i really like this i know it's very different for faker uh but i think this is a really interesting new way to do the figure that's never been done before i think it was pretty bold for them to try something like this and with this figure in my opinion it works all right guys it's comparison time so i've been talking about all the other faker action figures let's go ahead and stand this one alongside all those other releases just so you can see what he looks like standing alongside them and you can see how he's got the similarities but he is also very different than what we've ever gotten for faker in the past And there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Revelation Faker from the Masterverse line. All in all, really like this one. Very happy with them. I think it's a fun new take on the character. And uh, yeah, I like that we get something different with these guys every now and then. It, you know, sometimes when they try something new, it doesn't work and it makes us go, ugh, why didn't you just do what works? Uh, but sometimes they take a gamble, they try something new, and we get something fresh that it, it turns out pretty cool. And honestly, I really think this faker turned out pretty darn cool. I'm glad that we went a brand new route with them on this particular figure. So as I said, this one is a Target exclusive or was a Target exclusive. Uh, he seems to be very easy to find. I know my Target has had tons of these on the shelf for quite a while now. So hopefully you've already picked one of these up and added them to your collection. If not, it looks like that there's faker listings on places like Big Bad Toy Store. I don't know yet if it's the same one, but my guess is that the exclusivity ran up. So it looks like there'll be other chances to possibly get this guy so happy hunting my friends and until next time